This is the moment that we interior designers live for. This is what makes all the stress worthwhile. It all comes down to this. I'm Christopher Kennedy, and this is The Reveal. We're here in Palm Springs, California in the historic Indian Canyons neighborhood. This neighborhood goes back to the 1960s and boasted plenty of movie stars. This house is from 1964 and boasts three bedroom and three and a half bathrooms at just under 3,000 square feet. It has amazing views of the golf course and the mountains. Let's take a look inside. Check this out. Is this the stuff of vacation home dreams or what? This house just makes you want to dive right in. Our clients are an Orange County based couple that will use this house mostly on weekends and for the holidays. And I just wanted them to feel a breath of fresh air when they walked in the door. Or should I say, those turquoise blue doors really set the palette for what they're going to see inside. I love blues and greens to keep it feeling refreshing. The blue of the water and the sky, the green of the palm trees and the golf course, that's really what inspired this color palette. Oh, and I should mention that my clients love hot pink. It was one of their few specific requests. So we're gonna see hot pink peppered throughout. I think in a masculine way. I'll let you decide for yourself. Something to remember is these mid-century houses in Palm Springs really weren't huge. Most of them actually from the 50s were under 2,000 square feet. This one was a bit bigger and more luxurious at 3,000 square feet. Still, space is really at a premium here. And this room we're in, the great room, has to serve a lot of functions. There's no separate TV room, there's no den, no formal living room. It all happens right here. This is all of those things. So I really had to program this room to make sure it served a lot of functions. And the way that we did that, because our clients have a big family and a lot of friends, so one of my tricks was to make this big custom sectional. But I had to make sure that it was comfortable enough for game day and chic enough for cocktail hour. I think it does both beautifully. This house has plenty of color, but actually one of my tricks of the trade is that I like to keep the big things neutral. So for example, the sofa is white, the area rug is white, the floors are white. It really adds this airy backdrop that lets the colors pop. I like to use color in saturated, effective doses like the lime green of these chairs or the pop on the pillows. If our clients tastes change or styles change, these things are easy to recover, but the bones of the place are neutral. The white walls, white floors, and white sofa really set a chic and bright color palette. Another one of my tricks whenever I'm dealing with a colorful palette is to add healthy doses of black. Those accents of black just really add the drama and the sophistication. Here, I brought in the black in these beautiful marble coffee tables. They're also super modern with these golden legs that look like eye beams And because this is such a big room, I actually bought two coffee tables and put them together to really anchor the grouping and to make sure that everyone can reach the table from no matter where they're sitting. And speaking of sitting, how cozy do these chairs look? I love a swivel chair. It's always super practical. And because the TV is right there, it means that our clients can watch television or turn and talk to their guests. Speaking of the TV area, this guy's a monster. It's over 80 inches but you wouldn't notice it. I didn't want the TV to feel like it was taking over the entire room. So I anchored this big wall with this custom made shelving unit. I love the turquoise blue green lacquer. It's actually parchment vellum that's been lacquered and it really provides a great framework for this pretty massive television. I filled the shelves with personal photos and books and other mementos that are meaningful to our clients.
here in Palm Springs, it's all about the light and the view. And mid-century architects were all about connecting the indoor to the outdoor. They were using the new construction of the time, steel and glass, to make houses that were as open as possible. And this house is definitely a great example of that. These huge sliding glass doors provide an incredible view of the San Jacinto Mountains and the golf course. As we continue around the great room, there's lots of little seating groupings for the parties that I know our clients are going to have. These chairs actually came with the house. They're the only thing that we kept. I wanted to surprise my clients with a bit of a memento of something that came with the house. The rest of their furniture that came with the house wasn't quite to their taste, but they love the silhouette of these, so we actually reupholstered them in this great gold and black and white fabric. I designed the sofa perfectly so that someone sitting here can also talk to someone sitting on the sofa with the cutout in the back. The great room features an open concept with the dining room adjacent to the living room. I knew our clients would spend the winter holidays here, so we have a big table that easily seats 10. But I didn't want it to feel massive or chunky in the space, so I chose to do a glass table with polished chrome bases that allows for maximum flexibility. I love the way the light from the windows bounces off the polished stainless base of the tables, and it's so easy to maintain. The chrome table bases are reflected in the chrome and glass and black Sputnik style chandelier. These chandeliers are from the mid-century atomic age and were named for the Russian satellite that launched the space race. This is a big table with 10 dining chairs, so I wanted to break it up and add some visual interest. I custom designed these head chairs to really add a great focal point at the ends of the table. I found a 1960s chair and tweaked it a little bit. I love the cutout in the back. It's a really tall chair, but the cutout keeps it super interesting. And while the side chairs are gray and simple to go away, I really wanted to make a statement with the head chair fabric. And I love this emerald cut green velvet. And speaking of love, how much do we love this mirror behind us? Remember how I talked about accents of black to add drama and sophistication? This bone inlay mirror bounces the light, it reflects the mountains and the golf course, and really adds a great focal point to the room. The masonry fireplace is mid-century and original to the house, but I wanted it to feel contemporary and current, so we chose not to do the typical fake logs that you see and added crushed crystal glass to add a modern note to the otherwise nostalgic vibe. The true centerpiece, literally and figuratively, of this room is undoubtedly this laser-cut screen. These are actually structural columns holding up the roof, and I wanted to find a way to make it look intentional. I wanted to have a visual connection through the two rooms, but still add just a little bit of separation and definition, and the screen really fits the bill. It's a custom-designed, laser-cut, wooden screen that we lacquered black. Remember, black is one of my tricks to add sophistication to this otherwise bright color palette. So that's the great room. It's been a true labor of love, and I hope my clients love it as much as I do. But I know one of my clients is really most excited about the kitchen. He's the cook in the family, and this is a really important space to him. So let's go check out the kitchen. Actually, guys, it's a long walk to the kitchen, so I think we should stop and take in this bar. Remember, this is a vacation home, and it's Palm Springs after all, so the bar is a really important space. It's outfitted with all the necessities, ice, wine fridge, this really sexy, sophisticated black granite countertop, and whenever I do a reveal, I always have champagne ready for my clients. I know they're gonna wanna celebrate. The bar was here when our clients bought the house, but it was not in the finish that we loved, so we refaced the cabinetry in this really sexy, lacquered gold material. I love lighting. It's said it's the jewelry of the room, and it's, it's said for a reason, so these lights are definitely the jewelry and set a glamorous note for this bar. I love the acrylic and the brass, just really topping off this bar area beautifully. 
This house has a lot of glass and a lot of doors, so there aren't very many walls for art, but this was a prime one, and I really wanted to maximize the art moment in this bar space. You see this amazing art, which I found at a gallery. Uh, it's a Brazilian artist and it's really got all the colors of the house brought together beautifully. And I love how modern and contemporary it feels in this vintage house. Here we are in the kitchen, which because this house dates to the mid-century, it's not a huge space, but it's big on style and every detail was thought out by myself and my team. We selected a beautiful light gray cabinetry to keep it feeling contemporary and bright. It just adds enough richness. And speaking of richness, I love the brass cabinet pulls that really just add that extra bling. I kept the perimeter countertops white and bright, but really made a focal point with the island. How beautiful is this granite? The gray and the white brings together the color palette of the cabinets and the counters, but of course you'll notice it has our client's favorite color pink running throughout the stone. We clad the stone on the entire island, the sides and the top. It's book matched beautifully and really sets an amazing focal point for this entire room. Because this kitchen is long and narrow, I chose not to put upper cabinets on this wall and instead opted for open shelves. The open shelves help it feel airy and light. We literally added lighting to keep things light and bright and pops of color in the glasses and the accessories really make it fun. Instead of a typical tile backsplash, I opted for a wallpaper. It was actually a bit less expensive. And once I saw this color, this bright aqua blue, I just knew that it was the pop of color that I wanted for this kitchen. Otherwise, the kitchen is pretty neutral, gray and white, but the aqua blue on the backsplash, and of course, these lime green chairs really make the kitchen fun. No chef's kitchen and no vacation house would be complete without the refrigeration column, and this is quite the extravaganza. We have the 24-inch wine column, the freezer, and the refrigerator, but I didn't want it to stick out like a sore thumb, so we clad all the appliances in this beautiful white lacquer paneling with custom brass handles. It just blends in with the rest of the cabinetry, and you wouldn't even know that it's there until you need it. While pretty much everything in this 1964 house is new, this stone core at the center of the house, this masonry block, really speaks to the mid-century history and pedigree of the house. On the other side is the fireplace, and on this side, we have a pantry that slides in next to the fireplace, giving extra storage in the kitchen. And uh, this right here is pretty much my client's motto. On our way to the primary bedroom, we're gonna stop at some place that eventually everyone has to use, and that's the powder room. In a bright white house, I always like to have an unexpected note of drama with the super dark and sexy powder room, and this one certainly fits that bill. I clad the entire powder room in this black and gold striated wall covering and made a custom black stone sink. I really love how this room, which is mostly gonna be used at night, is so different from the rest of the house, but yet fits in perfectly. To bounce light around in the otherwise really dark and moody powder room, I chose to clad the entire sink wall in this subway tile that's actually mirrored. So rather than one mirror over the sink, the entire wall is mirrored. It's definitely different and definitely dramatic. This is the primary bedroom, the owner's suite, so of course it had to feel special. To make it different from the rest of the house, I sheathed all the walls in this beautiful green grass cloth. It just envelops you and makes it feel textural and warm and soothing all at the same time. And because our clients are two tall guys, I had to make a special and extra tall bed. This bed is seven feet tall and clad in this beautiful blue velvet. It definitely makes a splash, and it references the color of the vibrant front doors. The walls in this room are pretty neutral and plain, so I wanted to make a big splash and a big statement with the drapes. One of my client's favorite TV shows is absolutely fabulous, and if you know Patsy and Adina, then you definitely know the Christian Lacroix reference, 
and these drapes are Christian Lacroix fabric. And my client loves to say, it's Lacroix, darling, it's Lacroix. To keep the nightstands uncluttered, we chose to hang pendant lighting with this great bubble motif that references the pool and the spa. We have mismatched nightstands. This one is a bachelor's chest for extra storage. And on the other side is a desk because one of my clients works from home, like so many people these days. I know that our clients are often going to have a house full of people with family and friends who for sure are gonna to wanna to come visit them on weekends and holidays. So I gave them a nice little private moment where both of them can sit and relax in the morning and have coffee, just the two of them, in the primary bedroom suite. The dresser adds even more texture in this beautiful navy blue shagreen with acrylic sides and acrylic pulls. The brass accent references the brass we see in the rest of the house. As you come into the primary bedroom, one of the first things you notice is this beautiful black lacquered door. Remember, I love accents of black in a colorful house to add that note of sophistication and drama. And speaking of drama, these door handles definitely up the elegant drama factor. The polished chrome with the acrylic pulls just adds that extra statement. The primary bathroom isn't big, but boy is it well appointed and luxurious. Beautiful white marble looking tile clads the walls of the floor and the shower. Statement lighting really adds bling and elegance and bounces the light around. A big picture window behind the tub lets in lots of natural light. The tub is incredibly sexy. It's custom painted black on the outside and references this beautiful black leather cabinetry that I selected for the vanity. Again, we see acrylic poles with polished chrome accents and wall-mounted faucets that match those in the powder room. We had just enough of the slab from the kitchen to echo the kitchen island in the beautiful gray and black and white marble with the pink veining. And when a closet is this beautiful, it doesn't need a door. To keep things open and not block the space, we kept the closet door open and this beautiful closet just feels like you're walking into the most elegant men's store. I chose a gorgeous shagreen wall covering and custom cabinetry with everything in its place. I know it's gonna be one of my clients' favorite rooms. This primary bedroom suite is a beautiful, relaxing, serene, yet inspiring oasis. But this is a vacation home after all, so the guest rooms are equally important. Our clients have a lot of friends and family who are definitely gonna wanna visit them in Palm Springs, so I had to make sure the guest rooms were well appointed. Let's go check them out. The front guest bedroom references the 1950s, 1960s tiki motif that was so popular in the mid-century era. We have this tiki-inspired bed by Jonathan Adler in this vibrant yellow fabric. The wallpaper behind me is one of my favorite moments in the house. It was designed by Catherine Martin, whose husband is film director Baz Luhrmann, and she designed all his movie sets, including The Great Gatsby, Moulin Rouge, and Elvis. I know my clients are big fans of Baz Luhrmann's movies, and they love this wallpaper. It definitely makes a statement. With the headboard wall really making a statement with this wallpaper, I kept some of the other things in the room a bit more neutral. The rug is just mostly solid green to reference the grass outside. The nightstands are also pretty spectacular. They reference the cubist mid-century movement. The lamps have a great blue color palette and the gold and white fan really finishes off the room. A lot of people think that when you have a dark room, like this windowless bathroom behind me, that you should paint it white to make it brighter, but I'm gonna fill you in on a secret. If you wanna make a dark room bright, paint it yellow. Well, in this case, I actually wallpapered it bright yellow. I turned this lifeless bathroom into a beautiful bright jewel box with this yellow crocodile wallpaper. And of course, no house in Palm Springs is complete without the iconic Slim Aaron's photograph, Poolside Gossip. We call this guest bedroom the pool bedroom because it is right off of the pool. This is definitely a prime spot for guests. 
This bedroom really fits my decorating methodology of keep things neutral with concentrated pops of color. The room is mostly black and white, anchored on the headboard wall by this iconic zebra palm wallpaper from my friend Martin Lawrence Ballard, who's an amazing celebrity decorator. I know he's gonna love seeing this wallpaper installed. To emphasize the pool theme, I custom designed a bed in this great watery blue vinyl. As we go around the room, we see a beautiful gray dresser that references the kitchen cabinetry, again with acrylic cabinet poles. To add a pop of color, I chose yellow lamps, and the room is finished off with a custom piece of artwork of my own design that says Palm Springs. It definitely lets guests know exactly where they are. Both of the guest rooms in this vacation home have ensuite baths, which is a huge bonus. This bathroom does double duty as the pool bathroom as well. As you can see, it opens right outside so guests using the pool can also access it, but it's en suite to the pool bedroom. To really emphasize the pool bath feeling, I just chose this amazing Dunn Edwards paint color in this watery blue. I mean, is this a pool bath or what? To keep the outdoor spaces light and bright, I anchored it with lots of white. Just like the white sofa inside, we see white chaise lounges, white ledge loungers, but really accented with pops of aqua blue and yellow. Is it refreshing or what? I just think this oasis is serene and yet bright and vibrant all at the same time. This pool got a massive overhaul. We added the tanning shelf with the in-pool ledge loungers and we clad the entire spa in a beautiful aqua blue mosaic tile. It's stunning. And just around the corner from me, this house has a secret oasis. We turned a side yard into this secret garden. We planted hedges and added a dry sauna that's really a private retreat for the homeowners. It's a whole different element. It feels much more lush. While this area is light and bright and serene, the side yard has this lush-like jungle with a hidden dry sauna. It's truly a secret oasis. So we've seen the pool area. Now let's check out the outdoor entertaining spaces. They're equally beautiful. As we walk, you'll see these beautiful pavers. We actually tore up the entire hardscape because it, it had issues with drainage and leaking and the concrete was really stained. So we added these pavers, which look like the tiles inside that truly make these feel like outdoor rooms. In Palm Springs, I always make sure the outdoor rooms are as well appointed as the inside. We have a Saren and dining table with these gorgeous mid-century inspired dining chairs around it. Plenty of umbrellas for shade in the bright Palm Springs sunshine. And for that nighttime entertaining, we added a gorgeous circular fire pit. We see the black accent that we've used throughout the house. The black and gold is echoed on the curved sofa that surrounds the curved fireplace. I know they're gonna have a lot of great nighttime parties around that fire pit. When I first saw this side of the house, it was totally unused. Actually, these doors to the dining room weren't even there. And my client and I said, this is too much valuable real estate not to take advantage of. And this is a party vacation house after all. So we had a big idea and it came to life beautifully. We custom designed and built this entire outdoor extravaganza from the ground up. I spared no expense and thought out every detail from the umbrellas that go into the structure to the masonry wall that matches the fireplace inside to the lighting this outdoor kitchen has it all and my favorite part is undoubtedly the aqua blue appliances inside that match the front doors and the umbrellas this thing has a beer keg it has an ice maker it's got a sink and of course another television and seating for 10. i know this outdoor kitchen bar is going to see a lot of use.
I mean, this outdoor kitchen has it all. We have the beer tap, of course. We have the kegerator. We have the sink. We have the ice. We have built-in trash. And perhaps my favorite part is the test and appliances vacuum seal. So we can actually store glassware here all year long and it doesn't get dusty. It really has a place for everything and everything in its place. And the color is just the icing on the cake. That's it, this is the Palm Springs getaway that dreams are made of. Bright colors, luxury, sophistication, fun. This house has it all. In fact, my clients have already dubbed the house Mi Sueño or My Dream because it truly is their Palm Springs dream come true. I'm Christopher Kennedy, thank you for watching The Reveal.